Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. Absolutely gorgeous here on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, June, I don't know, 12th maybe, 2019, somewhere in there. And so uh, before I get into today, to today's rant, just, uh, I mean, the very pleasant task of uh, sending out big thank yous to three alert, kind-hearted tribes members. Well, I'm going to thank once again to uh, those sisters Audrianne and Joanna for their fine... Uh, Kind donations. Thank you, Johanna, for your kind PayPal donation. Adrian, for your kind GoFundMe donation. And Brother Davagoon, for your check to uh, support what I do on uh, YouTube, whatever the hell it is that I do. And I that's some bad news. The last bar of <coughs> ham bone palm oil free lavender soap oh, man, has been claimed and I do appreciate uh, the six tribes members uh, choosing wisely to buy a bar of soap and thank you sister Rosemary for making the soap. But anyway, with that, so what I've been doing since it's finally the sun has come out, I have been, for the first time in a week, I can finally mow the grass. And this very kind tribes member who, where I'm house sitting here in the Finger Lakes, has one of these goddamn what do you call these things, these push, these rotary push mowers, you know, that don't use fossil fuels, that you just run along, dip, 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 and think that you're mowing your grass. Good God, I got out there, I tried to use this damn worthless piece of shit last week. Who the hell are you kidding, brother? Uh, the thing is completely worthless. I mean, all kinds of uh, plants and weeds. You know, it does a little bit uh, on the actual grass, I guess. But there's, you know, I mean, like things like, uh, I don't know, violets, dandelions, buttercups, spider warts, uh, whatever else. These pesky plants growing, in, you know, these weeds growing all in your beautiful lawn were going to completely take over. So what I had to do in desperation, I finally had to go over to the neighbor and make a deal that I would, uh, if I could borrow their gas-sucking lawnmower, I would mow their grass as rental payment to borrow their lawnmower to come over here. So I've been out mowing grass all day, good God, and, and I've taken down the grass, the violets, the dandelions, the buttercups, the spider warts. I don't know how many more of those pesky weeds trying to uh, invade the beautiful lawns of Cortland, of suburban Cortland, New York. But I have done my part, with the help of my fossil fuel slaves, into keeping the, uh, the, you know, the closely cropped monoculture lawns alive and well. I really have a pissed off little rabbit out there. I almost mowed over this little rabbit who was out there in the middle of all these weeds. I came damn close to mowing down a rabbit under the gas sucking lawnmower. This stupid little idiot hopped out of the way of the mower just in time, but anyway, enough bitching about all that, so I can finally, now that I'm done with uh, my marathon mowing job, I can come in here and finally get around to the doomsday, the we are so fucked, 
doomsday headlines. So I'm just going to throw out two of them. Uh, anybody not being able to connect the dots between these two stories, obviously uh, your old eco-Nazi uh, has had a, in the chronicler of the collapse of a planet, has had a failure to communicate to help you understand. Uh, anyway, we're going to start over there at those little lefties over there at the Guardian. <clears throat> Frightening number of plant extinctions found in global survey. Study shows that 571 species of plants wiped out and scientists say that figure is likely to be a big underestimate. Human destruction of the living world is causing a frightening number of plant extinctions according to scientists who have completed the first global analysis of the issue. Officially, they found 571 species had definitely been wiped out since 1750, but with knowledge of many plant species still very limited, the true number is likely to be much higher. The researchers said that the plant extinction rate was 500 times greater now than before the Industrial Revolution, and even this was also likely to be an underestimate, you know, since the Industrial Revolution, since, you know, we've uh, developed fossil fuels. Uh, that's what they're talking about, you know, to all of these uh, increasingly efficient ways to destroy plants off the planet. Uh, good God, fucking planet eaters. Anyway, this is Dr. Imir Nikolagafa from the Royal Botanic Gardens, who is part of the team. Quote, plants underpin all life on Earth. They provide the oxygen we breathe and the food we eat, as well as making up the backbone of the world's ecosystems. So plant extinction is bad news for all species. Close quote. The number of plants that have disappeared from the wild is more than twice the number of extinct birds, mammals, and amphibians combined. The new figure is also four times the number of extinct plants recorded, you know, officially in the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List. This is Dr. Maria Varenstova, also from Q. Quote, it is way more than we knew and way more than should have gone extinct. It's frightening not just because of the 571 number, but because I think that is a gross underestimate, close quote. She said the true extinction rate for plants could easily be orders of magnitude higher than that reported in the study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution. There are thousands of living dead plant species where the last survivors have no chance of reproducing because, for example, only one sex remains or the big animals needed to spread their seeds are now extinct. And anybody failing to, to draw the dots between that uh, and that story and their own consumer and lifestyle choices. Well, the French news service uh, has some uh, news for you. Uh, this is probably going to show up in the Manga Bay 
dot com roundup this week. I'm quite sure but this is the mainstream media's big uh, they're they're in the French news services drawing the dots between plant extinction, particularly deforestation, and our consumer and lifestyle choices. Anyone who does not understand how our consumer and lifestyle choices affecting plants on the planet. Wow. Big brands break pledge to not destroy forest. Yes. <coughs> pledge to not destroy forest. A rainforest area the size of Spain will have been destroyed by firms growing consumer staples like palm oil in the decade ending in 2020, meaning from the year 2010 to 2020, which is industry's self-imposed deadline to end deforestation. Greenpeace said Tuesday, yes, some of the world's largest consumer brands, including Nestle and Unilever, had pledged back in 2010 to reach net deforestation within the decade through responsible sourcing, this is their term, responsible sourcing of cattle palm oil, soy, and other commodities. But since that pledge was signed, the, the actual pace of deforestation linked to commodities has increased dramatically and helped destroy at least 50 million hectares that's otherwise known as 225 million acres of forest in the past uh, decade, according to a new analysis carried out by Greenpeace. This is Anna Jones, Global Project Lead for Forest at Greenpeace UK. Quote, these companies are destroying our children's future by driving us towards climate and ecological collapse. They have wasted a decade on half measures and in that time vast areas of the natural world have been destroyed." Close quote. Since 2010, the area of Brazilian rainforest planted with soy, which is used to feed animals sold for their meat, increased 45%. In Indonesia, palm oil production was up 75% since the start of the decade, and the footprint of cocoa production in the Ivory Coast surged 80%. The 2015 Paris Agreement on Climate aims to limit global temperature rises to well below 2 degrees C and to 1.5 C if possible. To do so, nations must drastically reduce their greenhouse gas emissions, yet those emissions continue to rise year on year. Rainforests currently absorb up to 30% of all man-made greenhouse gas emissions. And are vital hotspots of biodiversity, containing plants from which around a quarter of all medical drugs are made. Cutting down rainforests provides a double threat to the environment. It removes a vital sink for planet warming gases in our atmosphere and produces more 
carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide used and expelled by industrial scale agriculture. The global meat industry alone is estimated to account for as much as 18% of all man-made emissions, and meat consumption is forecast to soar 76% by mid-century. Greenpeace accused firms of failing to follow through on their pledges to reduce the ruinous environmental impact their business plans were having. Quoting whoever Mr. Mr. Jones is, they should be in crisis talks right now, but they're still trying to grow more demand for products that will drive forest destruction even further. Yes, uh, where is the no shit Sherlock button? Why you still need it, but uh, now that I've managed to take a rest here from my lawn mowing, I've got to uh, get out there and crank up the weed eater. The weed eater. And uh, good God, don't even get me going on weed eaters. But I need to get going on my weed eater. So I'm going to wrap up today's We Are So Fucked Doomer Headlines of the Day about our consumer and lifestyle choices destroying the plant kingdom as human activity drives our fellow earthlings to oblivion. And I suggest that you get out there with your gas-sucking lawnmower and your power weed eater while you still can because it's a jungle out there and we are so fucked. Bye, guys.